What a surprise. For you, I mean. I do this every evening. I'm always uncomfortable being mentioned around the great authors as they have such a terrible habit of dying off. Shakespeare's dead. Chaucer's gone. And I don't feel that well myself. <laughs> but I'd like to thank you for attending the services this evening. <laughs> Almost didn't make it myself. Uh, came here by railroad. Most inconvenient way to travel. Now, this is one of those trains that seem to get tired every 15 minutes. Had to pull over and rest for up to three quarters of an hour. <laughs> Passengers are becoming impatient. It was suggested that the engineer remove the cow catcher from the front of the train, because at that speed we weren't likely to catch any cows. <laughs> and further, that he should mount it in the rear, because there was nothing to prevent them from climbing aboard in the back. <laughs> there were two prices to ride this train. There was the adult fare, or the full price, and then there was the half fare, or the child's price. Now, I was so irritated when the conductor finally came down the aisle, I handed him the half fare. He looked at the fare, looked at me, looked back at the fare, looked back at me, and said, I suppose you think you're a child. I said, no, but I was when I got on. <laughs> If I have to go to heaven by railroad, I shall go the other way. <laughs> Although I hate to discuss the afterlife, as I have friends in both places. 